Dear students, today we will learn about relative humidity in details. We have already learned from the previous tutorial that due to constant evaporation, water vapor is always present in the atmosphere. The air becomes moist because of the presence of water vapor. The moisture in the atmosphere is called humidity. So, we can say that humidity is nothing but moisture the water vapor present in the atmosphere. Relative humidity means how wet or dry the air of a certain place is. Relative means ratio and humidity means the presence of water vapor in the air. Therefore, we can say that relative humidity is the ratio of water vapor. We denote relative humidity as capital R and generally Relative humidity is expressed by percentage. See, this is a closed container filled up with air. Water vapor is also present in this container. Suppose the volume of this container is 1 meter cube. Air temperature is 30 degree Celsius. Maximum limit of water vapor holding capacity of the air is 100 grams. And the amount of water vapor present in the air is 80 grams. By using the mass of water vapor, we can easily determine relative humidity from these given data. This is the formula of relative humidity. Relative humidity R equals the mass of vapor present over the mass of maximum amount of water vapor that air can hold times 100%. So, we can write relative humidity R equals the mass of water vapor present over 100 grams, the mass of maximum amount of vapor times 100%. Therefore, relative humidity R equals 80%. That means, the relative humidity of the air inside the container is 80%. But in real life, it is very difficult to measure the mass of vapor because of its gaseous state. We can only measure how much pressure it can exert. That is why we use this formula to determine relative humidity instead of this formula. Relative humidity capital R equals small f over capital F times 100%. Here, small f equals saturated vapor pressure at dew point, capital F equals saturated vapor pressure at air temperature or at dry bulb reading temperature. Now look at here, small f equals saturated vapor pressure at dew point. That means, small f equals how much pressure saturated vapor exerts at dew point temperature. What can we do if the value of saturated vapor pressure at dew point is not mentioned in the stimulus? At first, we have to determine dew point temperature and then we have to determine how much pressure saturated vapor exerts at the dew point temperature. Do remember, whenever we determine the dew point temperature, we must do it on the basis of air temperature or dry bulb reading temperature. Look at here, capital F equals saturated vapor pressure at air temperature or at dry bulb reading temperature. That means capital F equals how much pressure saturated vapor exerts at air temperature or dry bulb reading temperature. What can we do if the value of saturated vapor pressure at air temperature is not mentioned in the stimulus? It is obvious that we will get the temperature of air or the temperature of reading dry bulb available in the stem. So, we will have to determine only how much pressure saturated vapor exerts at that air or dry bulb temperature. Look at the stimulus. This is dry bulb temperature of Dhaka. This is dry bulb temperature of Rajshahi. This is wet bulb temperature of Dhaka 
and this is weight bulb temperature of Rajshahi. This is glaciers factor on the basis of dry bulb temperature of Dhaka and this is glaciers factor on the basis of dry bulb temperature of Rajshahi. At 14 degree Celsius temperature, saturated water vapor pressure is 11.99 mm mercury pressure. At 16 degree Celsius temperature, saturated water vapor pressure is 13.63 mm mercury pressure. And at 28.6 degree Celsius temperature, saturated water vapor pressure is 29.394 mm mercury pressure. Determine the relative humidity of Dhaka. As air temperature or dry bulb temperature will always be given in the stimulus, therefore we will try to determine the value of capital F first. See this is our dry bulb hygrometer reading temperature of Dhaka. Now we will try to find out how much pressure saturated water vapor exerts at this temperature from this time. See, at this temperature, the value of pressure exerts by the saturated water vapor is 29.394 mm mercury pressure given in the stimulus. Therefore, we have got the value of capital F directly from the stimulus. Now, we will have to find out the value of small f. Small f equals saturated vapor pressure at dew point. Mind it, at dew point. But see, these temperatures are not the dew point temperatures. So, we will determine dew point temperature first. And after then, we will determine saturated vapor pressure at that dew point temperature. We know that dew point theta equals theta 1 minus capital G times theta 1 minus theta 2. As we are determining dew point for Dhaka, so we can write here capital D. Here theta 1 equals dry bulb reading temperature. Therefore, this dry bulb reading temperature of Dhaka will be theta 1 that is 28.6 degree Celsius. Do remember the another identity of theta 1 is air temperature. Theta 2 equals weight bulb reading temperature. Therefore, this weight bulb reading temperature of Dhaka will be theta 2 that is 20 degree Celsius. Capital G equals glaciers factor on the basis of dry bulb temperature. See, this glaciers factor is given here on the basis of this dry bulb reading temperature of Dhaka. Therefore, this glaciers factor will be capital G that is 1.664. So, we can write dew point theta of D equals 28.6 the value of theta 1 minus 1.664 the value of capital G times 28.6 the value of theta 1 minus 20 the value of theta 2. Therefore, dew point theta of D equals 14.29 degree Celsius. That means dew point temperature of Dhaka is 14.29 degree Celsius. We have already got the dew point or dew point temperature, but still we do not know the value of saturated vapor pressure at this dew point. So what should we do now? See this 14 degree Celsius temperature and this 14 degree Celsius temperature are the same. So this value of vapor pressure at 14 degree Celsius temperature will be the value for this 14 degree Celsius temperature. Now we will have to determine saturated vapor pressure for this increased temperature. We know that vapor pressure changes with the changing of temperature. For rising temperature, vapor pressure will be changed and for decreasing of temperature, vapor pressure will also be changed. If we can determine this change for 1 degree Celsius temperature, then we will be able to determine the change for this 0.29 degree Celsius temperature 
by using unitary method. C for this 16 degree minus this 14 degree equals 2 degree Celsius rise of the temperature. Change in vapor pressure equals this 13.63 minus this 11.99 millimeter mercury pressure. That is 1.64 millimeter mercury pressure. So we can write for 2 degree Celsius rise of the temperature change in vapor pressure equals 1.64 millimeter mercury pressure for 1 degree Celsius rise of the temperature change in vapor pressure equals 1.64 over 2 millimeter mercury pressure therefore for this 0 0.29 degree Celsius rise of the temperature change in vapor pressure equals 1.64 over 2 times 0 0.29 that is 0 0.2378 millimeter mercury pressure therefore small f equals this 14 degree celsius temperature plus this 0 0.29 degree celsius temperature we can split like this can't we or small f equals we can write this value here for the temperature of 14 degree Celsius that is 11.99 millimeter mercury pressure plus we can write this value here for the temperature of 0 0.29 degree Celsius that is 0 0.2378 millimeter mercury pressure. Therefore, small f equals 12.2278 millimeter mercury pressure. Previously, we got capital F equals 29.394 millimeter mercury pressure. We know relative humidity R of D equals small f over capital F times 100% or R of D equals 12.2278 millimeter mercury pressure over 29.394 millimeter mercury pressure times 100%. Therefore, relative humidity of Dhaka equals 41.6%. This is our final answer. Do remember, people tend to feel most comfortable at a relative humidity of between 30 and 50%. That means humidity above 50%, people do not feel comfortable at these reading weather remains wet and people sweat a lot. Humidity over 60% evaporation of sweat starts decreasing. That is why people feel more uncomfortable. Again, humidity below 30% people do not feel comfortable because at this reading weather becomes too dry. Thanks a lot again for watching this tutorial.